Halloween to Happy Kayla Halloween. Jones from Thank the Coliseum you. Medical Center. Our superhero nurse here. Yes. That girl, I like that. We're talking Halloween safety tips. Uh, let's start with kids because everybody's going to go out trick-or-treating tonight. Mm -hmm. At least most of the kids will. Uh, some things to be aware of. Well, um, kids are actually six times more likely to be hit by a car on Halloween. Mm -hmm. So, um, biggest thing is going to be pedestrian safety. Sticking to the sidewalks, right. sticking to well-lit areas, crossing at crosswalks or corners, mm -hmm. sticking in groups, making sure that your kids aren't running out in front of you. Um, another big thing is putting something reflective on their costumes okay. or on their uh, Halloween bags to make sure that they're visible to oncoming drivers. It's going to be dark by the time everybody trick-or-treating right. um, so having something that is easily visible you know kind of avoiding dark costumes if possible um, and even avoiding masks on kids because okay. it actually minimizes their visibility um, so th those are some big things um, to kind of think about as you go out Monday night and I was gonna ask you know is there anything outside of just avoiding dark clothing for costumes that kids should be aware of maybe swords or is that, is that something they should maybe avoid absolutely avoiding swords even sticks things okay. that are you know sharp and pointy you mm -hmm. don't um, right. you know want to accidentally stab your friend in the eye <laughs> while you're trick-or-treating that sure. would not end up for a good night um, and also just making sure that the costumes are fitted properly so okay. the kids aren't tripping and falling as they're um, running to catch up with their friends or even just walking down the street what about parents because you know they're the chaperones uh, I'm sure you would suggest just they go with some Absolutely. of the younger kids trick-or-treating but some of the things that they should watch for uh, maybe tell their kids before going out tonight um, well you know there's a always a big risk of um, going door to door to people's houses that you don't know okay. knocking on strangers doors so going to an area that you know well maybe you know the people in the neighborhood that is always um, something that can provide a little bit of comfort for parents but also just keeping an eye on your kids making sure you have a good adult to kid ratio okay and making sure that you know even the older kids maybe they're you know 13 14 a little bit older if they're going trick-or-treating might not necessarily need to have an adult with them but making sure that they stay in groups have a buddy system um, even in adult Younger kid groups having the kids pair up in buddies is a good idea. And I think that's smart. You know, some of the the teenagers, you know, will still be going out trick or treating. Mm -hmm. Buddy up, you know, don't yeah. go by yourself certainly. And then, uh, would you suggest maybe for for homeowners who will be expecting people to come through, uh, maybe light up their front porch, anything like that? Absolutely. Um, typically, um, you know. Turning your porch lights off means don't come here. So, um, you know, having your yard well lit so that okay. kids aren't tripping, um, making sure you don't have any hazards on your porch steps or anything like that, um, and making sure that it's obvious that um, it's safe for kids to come there is going to be, um, you know, a good indicator. That way you don't spend thousands of dollars on candy and don't give any of it away because <laughs> your house doesn't look very inviting. Right, right, right. Well, thanks, Kayla, for joining us. Happy Halloween to Happy you. Happy Halloween. Thank Happy you. Happy Halloween. To all of you, we'll put a full list of safety tips from the Coliseum on our website. We'll be right back.